Hello everybody, a random gnome here, and today we are going to show you how to set up a Minecraft server in 1.6.1. Uh, and if this, if you guys are watching this later, I am assuming that, you know, it's not changed, so this tutorial should work even past 1.6.1. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this. Uh, I was kind of confused, because this is kind of weird, like, I don't know if you guys have seen the launcher. But anyways, we're in the actual game here, so what we're going to want to do... Is, oh, oh, don't look at that. But anyways, what we're going to do is set up a Minecraft server so you can play with your friends or, you know, just set up a server to have fun and, I don't know, do whatever you want. So, yeah, what you're going to want to do, first off, is set up some ports. And how you're going to do that is uh, go to CMD so we can figure out your uh, local uh, IP address and stuff like that. So what you're going to type in, in your uh, into the command prompt is ipconfig. And what you're going to see is, uh, you know, default gateway and IPv4 address. Your IPv4 address is your local IP address. Uh, you know, it's catered to your computer specifically on your network. And the default gateway usually uh, will take you to, uh, you know, the page that, uh, you know, your router, whatever page, your, I don't know what to call it. But anyways, so pretty much type that into your browser. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's type that in right quick. And yeah, uh my last tutorial, I was getting people complaining because it was my router was different than other people's and it was kind of hard to access where you set up the ports, so it's going to be hard for me. I have never set up ports on this one yet, so this is going to we be weird. Uh, this is a lot different than my last one, so pretty much uh, what you're going to want to look for is probably basic settings or if there is a firewall option, go there. And then if you see something with like port forwarding or port triggers or anything like that, go there. And what you're going to want to do is go to add and type in the description Minecraft or, you know, the name, whatever. And the port is going to be 25565. And we're going to want to do that for, you're probably just going to have two. So we're just going to have them both. Uh, we're going to do both. You don't have to. All you need to do is TCP. But hey, we're going to do both. Uh, I am. You guys don't have to. And I'm just going to set that port. And it's right there. And now that is on my uh, router. And that port is open. So now we can actually get the Minecraft server software. And what you're going to want to do is open up your internet browser of your choice. Go to, uh, oops, not Google. Uh, go to Minecraft dot net slash download and once you're there you're going to see multiplayer server and what you're going to want to do is click on the link there and download it and once you have that downloaded uh just open you know make a new folder on your desktop or wherever you want to keep your uh you know your server and name it name it whatever you want it doesn't matter at all but this is going to be holding all your minecraft server files so just minecraft server should be good and you pretty much just get the Minecraft server, open it up, if it will, open the containing folder, and drag it in. Just drag in the download that you just got, the file you just got, and you're going to want to run it. And what that's going to do, it's going to download all the files needed to set up uh, a Minecraft server. And see, we have all the files here, so we're done with that. All right. The, it's just it always goofs up and takes a while to close the first time because you know it's never been set up before so yeah and pretty much uh, we're pretty much done but hey we can look at server properties what you're gonna want to do if you can't open it is go to properties and it's gonna say open with you're gonna want to change that to notepad or any text editor of your choice so yeah we're gonna do that real quick open that up and we can edit anything we can change the difficulty, we can change the port, which we don't want to change because we already set that port. And you can change a lot of things, PvP, difficulty, game mode, how many players can join. Uh, it, you can force a texture pack on there, you can remove animals, all that good stuff. And to prove that this works, I will launch it real quick. Uh, yep, run it. Okay, it's going to take a second. Uh, it's preparing the spawn area takes a little bit uh it won't take this long you're you know if you're if you set up the server before then it won't take this long but the first time setting up uh it takes a while to set up the spawn area because it hasn't been made before so what you're going to want to do is you can type in your own ip address your local ip address 
uh, make sure that that is right. Or so if you're just joining your own, you can just do local IP. I'm pretty sure, or local host. Sorry. Okay, I'm spawning in. Might run a little bit crappy since you know I'm recording right now, but hey, we're in it. And uh, so now you're probably wondering, how do I get my friends in here? So what you're gonna want to do is go to Google and Google what is my IP and your IP will come up obviously I don't want you guys seeing my IP so it is gone but yeah that is basically it uh, you can add your friends have a good time you can mess with creative and all the I don't know what they just added horses and donkeys I haven't really got into this uh, update yet but it seems pretty fun so thank you guys for watching uh, if you have any questions please put them down below and you know either I will get to them or uh, on my other video that I had a lot of the other people commenting on the video were helping others so that is a really good thing to see so maybe we'll see that again but yeah uh, that's about it so thank you guys for watching and see you guys later and if you if this video helped you out I would really enjoy a like uh, or, or favorite and most definitely I like comments the most so if you could give like positive feedback if you enjoyed this that would be great and subscribe if you want to see more content I usually do let's plays uh, tutorials and you know basically anything I want to put up so yeah thank you guys for, uh, for watching and see you guys next time